We got a glimpse into Wall Street's views of the banking sector after a pair of industry giants reported quarterly earnings this morning. Bank of America ended the day slightly higher after scoring beats on both the top and the bottom lines, while Goldman Sachs closing lower after beating on earnings but missing on top line revenue. I, I guess a bit of a surprise. Pretty strong report from Bank of America, but the investors did not agree. And when it comes to Goldman Sachs, shouldn't all that they reported have been already expected by investors? Right. And I think it largely is, right, Dave? I mean, you look at the stock off about a percent and a half. From what we've seen with bank stocks in the last month, that's not that big of a move, right, in the grand scheme of things. Maybe in certain times you could say that's a big move for Goldman Sachs. It's really not that big of a move in the grand scheme of what we talked about over the last month. I thought Wells Fargo put a nice bow on bank earnings today. They said, quote, Goliath is winning a clean sweep for banks, essentially because some, some have said the crisis is over, at least for now. I think David Solomon referenced yeah. that today. At least the crisis is over for now. And I think that's what people wanted to know coming into these earnings, right? And so that was sort of the biggest takeaway I think from today, and then also interesting on that Goldman call to hear David Solomon starting to talk about that Apple relationship. And he said that this gives us another deposit channel, Goldman opening up that savings account yesterday with Apple. And I think you want to talk a little bit more about Apple. Yeah. But I think that's interesting to see Goldman kind of get in that space because obviously we're talking a lot about deposits these days. Where are people going to put their money? Apple now saying, you could put your money with us. Is an interesting and I get it. It's a 4.15 uh, interest rate. It's going to appeal to people that just want to keep it all in that Apple ecosystem. By the way, we'll get Morgan Stanley earnings tomorrow.